What's up guys? Justin here with the CG Essentials. So in today's video we're going to talk about a geometry node setup that I found on Twitter that um, basically creates a rolling brick wall. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so you can check out the rolling brick wall on Ben's Gumroad page. So we've talked about some of his geometry node setups before, but um, I, I will link to this in the notes down below. So I'm pretty sure that this one is a minimum of $3 if you want it. Um, I personally consider that to be just something where we're, to, we're uh, supporting somebody that's doing cool stuff with Blender. Um, but you can also just kind of watch the video and see kind of what people are doing with the geometry node setup as well. And so when we open this up, it's gonna default to this view right here. And so notice what we've got right now is we've basically got this keyframed animation in here that's set up where um, basically the location of the brick wall gets adjusted and the brick wall kind of like rolls away in the background. You're going to get the best view by going to rendered view. So you can hold Z and go under rendered view right here. But if you click play, notice what this is gonna do is this is basically taking your brick wall and it's rolling it backwards, kind of like something you might see in like a Harry Potter movie or something like this. And so if we dig into this a little bit more, there's actually some really cool stuff going on here. So I'm just gonna rotate out of this real quick um, so we can take a look at it. So basically what this is made up of is if we go to a top-down view, this basically has two walls on each side so notice how you've got a wall over here on the left-hand side, a wall over here on the right-hand side. Then you've got the same thing on the other side. All of these are driven by geometry nodes. One of the cool things about the geometry nodes in the setup is you can adjust things like your depth of your wall. So notice how right now, for example, one of the walls is two courses of bricks thick. And so you can adjust that by selecting the wall and adjusting the slider. So you can make this wall as thick as you want um, obviously, I mean, you probably wouldn't have a wall that's 19 courses thick, but you can use a slider to adjust this. And that's one of the things I really like about this is like this is basically a procedural brick wall inside a blender with materials applied to it. So even if it wasn't something that had the animation in here, this is basically generating this brick wall in here procedurally using geometry nodes. One of the cool things about that is that means you can also adjust things like your height of your wall. So notice when I adjust this, it's adjusting my height. You can also adjust the depth of the wall right here. So I could totally see somebody creating a cool tool set where you could generate walls really quickly. But then you can also adjust things like how shifted each row is. So for example, if we were to put it like this, then your bricks are going to be 100% uniform. If you're gonna put it like this, then your bricks are going to be offset. So you can adjust the offset. You can also kind of adjust the randomization. So if you wanted this to look more like old and worn or something like that, notice how you can adjust like the up, down, that kind of thing. Then you can also adjust the seed in order to adjust the randomization. So the first set of settings in the geometry node setup is going to adjust how the wall works. So notice how if I click play, that whole thing is rolling back even though the other walls are a little bit shorter. So you can use this in order to generate that. But in addition, there's also functions down at the bottom which allow you to adjust the way that the wall is going to roll. So basically there's this option in here called roll progression. Notice how if you set your roll progression to like zero, for example, and you may actually need to set it to like a negative value in here, um, but you can set at what point in the progression process this wall is by adjusting this right here. So basically what's happening is he's keyframed it at a value where this is sitting, but then if you move this forward, right, notice how that wall is going to roll backward. And one of the cool things about this is notice how what this is doing is this is rolling each row of bricks individually. Well, there's a function in here called roll noise that's going to set how uniform or not uniform that is. So if I was to set the noise to zero and then run this, right, then notice how you're going to get like this completely uniform brick look right here. However, if you were to set your noise to like 20, then again, your brick, each row of your bricks is going to roll back at a different speed like this. So you can use this in order to really quickly adjust those settings in here. I love the animation with this, but what I really like about this is it really kind of gives us an idea of what could be created as a part of our tool set inside of Blender for generating things like these walls, especially if there's a function for like adding things along curves, which is currently not included in here, but I'm just thinking about what could be. And then if you do decide that you want to look at the geometry nodes of this, you can go into the geometry node settings 
select these and see exactly how he has this set up, right? So he's got this group so you can see the way that the wall is rolling. Um, he's got this where you can see like the offset that's in here, the randomization, all those different things are contained inside of this like this. So you can see this, you can play around with this. Definitely something that in my opinion you should be at least aware of, um, that things like this are being created because I think they show a really bright future for what can be done in Blender. So I'll link to this setup in the notes down below. If you can go support guys like Ben, I definitely recommend that you do that because they're kind of driving the development of what can be done with things like geometry nodes. But I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below what you think about this setup. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.